I'll be uh, showing you how to uh, create dual clients for Guild Wars. Let's uh, navigate to the place where you installed your first version of Guild Wars. Mine was in C Drive, Program Files. Find the folder, Guild Wars. Copy it, so Control C or simply right click and copy. Alright, now let's navigate to another f or hard drive. So I chose uh, my F drive. Paste that whole folder in there. So that's what I did right here. Now open that folder you just pasted. Find gw.exe. Right click that and go down to rename. We're going to rename it as gw2.exe. And then press enter. Okay, since that's done, we can put that away for a little bit. Let's uh, open the internet. So, Foxfire is my uh, browser of choice. And we're going to navigate to Google. So, google.com. And we're going to type in XVI32. Search that. And it comes up. First one should be Freeware Hex Editor XVI32. Click that. We're going to scroll down a little bit until we find a download section. And it's right here. So, download the newest one, which is release 2.5.1. Download that. Save it. Now we can open that. Extract files. And here is the exe xvi32, which is the program that uh, is the hex editor. Okay, so we're going to open that. There it is. Um, now open the Guild Wars uh, 2.exe that we copied. So navigate to there. Let's go down to Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2.exe. Alright, good. Open that. Okay, now we just easily go up to search and replace. Check the uh, text string option in the find box and type in Guild Wars, including spaces, capitals, and everything. Now move down to replace with box and do the text string again. And we're going to type in Guild Wars, but uh, name it with different characters. Same uh, length though, including the space and capital. So I say G U I L D. W four R a five. Okay. Now I'll go to replace all. It found twelve occurrences and replaced them. That number just depends on what version you have and updates, you know. Okay. It's okay. Now we just save it. And then we can close this. Now go to run on your start menu and type in reg edit. R E G E D I T and press enter. It should bring up the registry editor. Now we're going to go to H key local machine. Go to uh, software and then find area net. Now right click on the area net folder and export it. Let's uh, save it in that Guild Wars folder we uh, created. So let's find that. Okay, let's name it GW2. Uh, okay, and save. Now we can close the registry editor. Now let's go back to my computer, open that place where you saved your registry file. Here it is, right there. Now uh, this is a copy of the original one and we want to save that so let's just uh, control C, right click and copy it. Let's go to the original hard drive of the Guild Wars, so C drive program files. Open that. Now let's go down to the Guild Wars folder and paste it in here. We can just rename it if we want, it doesn't matter. Let's rename it as guildwars.reg. Okay, that one's done. Now let's go back. Okay, we're going to edit the uh, guildwars2.reg reg file. Edit, right click edit. Okay. Take off word wrap so we can see it properly. So here's path. Alright, so we're going to just replace that with this location up here where I uh, copied the new folder for Guild Wars and mine is F colon slash Guild Wars copy that and we're gonna put it in place of what was there inside the quotes and end quote and wherever you see a single slash make it a double alright that's good and just save that we're done with there and we can close it edit it registry file now the uh, setup is basically finished for running dual clients, but to make it a little easier, let's uh, go ahead and create a batch file. 
So we can go right click on the window, go new, and we just choose text document and we'll change the extension. So let's call it gw2.bat for batch. Yes, let's change the file extension. All right, now we can right click on that and edit it. And what in, we're gonna type in here, we're gonna type in at echo space off new line. We're gonna type in CD uh, hard drive where we pasted that uh, GW folder, Goodworks folder, and we're gonna find the find it and copy that, put it in here. Don't need quotes or anything. And then we're gonna next time we're gonna type in start and the name of the uh, Guild Wars 2.exe. registration file rather not the exe that's next all right next line we're going to type in pause so we have time to uh, insert the registry file and then next line we're going to do start gw2.exe there we go and then the next line we're going to type exit okay that's done we'll save it and we can close it all right um now we just copy that and put it into, paste it into the original folder of the Guild Wars. So C drive, Guild Wars, program files, whatever. Paste it in there. And we can rename it to guildwars.bat. And then we're going to edit it as well. So right click and edit. And since this location is different for the Guild Wars original exe and registration file we put here, we're going to change the CD to this one, the one uh, that we navigated to. So my OC colon slash program files slash guild wars. I'm gonna put it right there. Paste it. Alright. Good. Now we're just gonna change the start to uh, start gw dot reg and the next start to uh, start gw dot exe. And we can save that. And close. Alright. Now uh, let's make it a little more pretty and uh, easier to open so it's a uh, right click on the uh, gw.batch file and create a shortcut we'll rename it to uh, guild wars client one and we're going to right click on that one and go to properties change the icon and we're going to browse for the gw.exe one in the same folder that the shortcut is. It'll show up two pictures and we'll just select any one of them and we'll just press OK. Alright, that one is done. Let's uh, go ahead and add it to your desktop or drag it to your desktop or anywhere you want to go. Start menu and I choose to drag it to my object dock. Alright. Now let's do the same thing with the icon to the other one. So we're back in uh, F slash Guild Wars, and we're going to make a shortcut of the batch file, gw.bat. And let's uh, go to properties, change the icon of the shortcut. Let's go ahead and browse for that gw.exe pic uh, picture. Press OK. And I'm going to rename it to Guild Wars Client 2. All right, now we're ready to roll. Let's go ahead and uh, add this one up here, Guild Wars Client 2, in my object doc. So we have two clients, Guild Wars Client 1 and Guild Wars Client 2. All right, let's see if they work. Number one. This is uh, asking if you want to add the information to uh, your registry, and you're, of course, going to click Yes. And it says it's been successful. Now let's press any key to continue. And it's going to start the Guild Wars. All right, here's your first client. And I'll start Guild Wars second client. Continue, yes, and OK. Press any key. And here's your second client. All right, it looks like it worked perfectly. 